I am happy to say that we're back, we're in a new studio, and today we're going over the top buildings from Series 3 of LEGO's BrickLink Designer Program, where adults design sets for other adults. And stick around for something else that's pretty awesome for those designs that don't end up making the cut. Okay, this first one is based on Victorian architecture and it has an excellent use of colors. The tan really helps the green pop out. The Wayfinder signpost is a nice touch along with the clock that's above that entryway. They just seamlessly go together. And the skylights are fitting for a greenhouse structure and it doesn't take away from the overall design. And the back of the building has an excellent balance of color. I love the landscaping. The designer did a great job just tying everything together. And when we get to the top down view, this is absolutely incredible. The contrast of the browns and greens is very eye-catching and this swirling palm tree look is just mind-blowing. We have a better look of it here and it's just I've never seen this type of design before maybe some pirate sets have had this but this looks really good. Overall this set has an excellent use of colors I love how all the foliage and flowers work together and the cast of minifigures brings a lot of character to this one so this botanical garden is a pretty sweet set. All right, I absolutely love this one. It reminds me of the fishing store Lego idea set, which is one of my favorites. The signage that's around the building fits this theme along with the old timey gas pump. Lots of cool details in this one. And the Harbor Master's office is 100% spot on. I just imagine this uh, person working at this this harbor uh, shipping station uh, just out busy doing a lot of his work. So he would have receipts just strewn about. It's great that the designer just sat down and thought that through. And there's a nice addition to the sleeping quarters. I just noticed that there's two Easter eggs here. We have the Lego lighthouse and the ship in a bottle. Those are both Lego idea sets. So is the, the fishing store. So this designer is a huge Lego fan and it's appreciated that they included those in this room right here. That, that's awesome. Yet again, we see more signage that's on the other side of the building. So lots of interesting, intricate details, including all of the wildlife that is below the dock area here. You have fish, you have sea plants, just above and beyond in terms of detail. And you have the inclusion of all the nautical tools, which is what a harbor master would need in their office. Everything fits super well. Another amazing set. So far, Series 3 is really killing it. This is awesome. All right, set number three, we have the Art of Chocolate. And at first, I didn't think much of the set, but once I dove into it, wow. You get this kind of unassuming holiday feel when you look at the exterior, but the magic is inside this one. When you dive in, look at all of these rooms. You basically have this jam-packed set with a ton of details. And you get a world of chocolate from beginning to end, from the first floor where you have the roasting and grinding of the chocolate, you mix everything together and mold it. Up on the top floor, there's a kitchen and a chocolatier's room where they can decorate all these different chocolate creations. All, and right down to the tasting room. So this is kind of like wine tasting, but for chocolate, which I've never heard of, it would be cool to see if these exist. And I love that you can close the set very well thought out. And I love when they include these types of additions. I don't mind the open back sets, but when it's fully enclosed like this, I think that's even better. You know, I'm noticing more corner modular sets, which is great if you want to section off your city. And this Italian street corner nails the Italian vibe. And this designer was inspired by their trip to Italy. It's so cool to see this pattern of inspiration and understand where the designers get their ideas. I think it adds more backstory to the set and makes them even cooler. The pizzeria looks spot on from the outside. It's seated next to this waterfall, the small little waterfall. The seating looks very comfortable and you have the uh, ambiance of all these other foliage pieces. This would be a great place to have a slice of pizza. The fountain on the corner looks cool and you can just tell how busy the street corner really is. And you can just smell the pizza that's coming from this pizzeria. I like the design on these chairs 
tires with that pointed red back uh, piece along with the gold trimming for the legs. It even has this brick oven, which looks very accurate in terms of its design. Overall, these interiors look top notch and you can tell that it's a very high bar set by this designer. I love the Italian ice cream section. This set is actually making me really hungry. So let's move on to the next one. We have another corner set with this modular hospital. And from a first glance, this has a good use of colors that make it feel like a hospital, but has nice trimmings that get away from that sterile look. And here we have a gift area next to reception, which is a perfect addition to the first floor. Moving up, we see some of the medical facilities that are to be expected. And this is a small detail, but check out how there are different colored doors for these entryways. We'll get to more of that in a second. Next up, we have some hospital beds with plenty of natural lighting. It sucks to be here, but I like that the designer has thought of taking care of our sick patients' mental health. There's a balcony to get some fresh air, which I've never seen at a real hospital. That, that's an awesome idea. Of course, the set is fully modular, which we can all appreciate. And here we have another view of the second floor. And here's that those color-coded doors. As you can see on the floor, it's actually to help visitors or even practitioners navigate to certain rooms. So I love that color coding system. They, they must have been to a hospital that had something like that. And overall, I just think this is a cool set to add to any modular city. This is this is primo stuff. OK, this set is very unique. And just by the name alone, it was enough for me to just be like, what is going on here? Right away, the roof work is simply amazing. And as you move down the set, the stonework and these glass, uh, it's kind of like a stained glass sort of window pattern looks awesome. Then you get to the side of the set where it starts to curve around. You have these windows at um, different angles with a column that's in the middle and just the techniques involved with putting these different colors to just make everything pop. And you get to the other side and there's another window that has this, this curved outer rim to it, which just goes together with everything else. This is very well done. Excellent, excellent design. And the details continue on the inside with this museum display. And this is from a medieval setting. So they have artifacts that you would have seen during that time period. But what's cool with this set is you can turn these little circular discs on the bottom and it changes these hanging banners so they, they even added some mechanics to it for some interactivity and that's just going above and beyond a plus stuff right here and when you get outside the set the details just keep piling on here we have this gift shop area with everything that you'd see from a medieval set piece lots of great little details in this set with incredible design techniques i absolutely love it so in case you didn't know i'm not sponsored to say anything on this channel and i do want to quickly tell you about this amazing program that lego is piloting for the sets that aren't picked from these different series it's called the mock pop-up store and it's this ingenious program where you can choose a set from a previous bricklink series and they'll send you digital instructions and actually find the pieces for you from from stores from all over the world. So let's say I wanted to purchase this set right here. You will be able to go through and see where you're getting all of these pieces from. It includes the digital instructions. In this case, it's about 20 bucks. And the digital instructions, I believe, are created by the designers themselves. They guide you through the entire building process for their creative ideas. The only caveat is that it doesn't include any minifigures or stickers, but at the very end of the instructions, you can, I believe, print them out. So, so you can print out your own stickers, which is which is cool that you have that option. This is a great way to support these designers. I know that some of them do this simply for the love of it, but some are also looking for a way to possibly jumpstart their creative career. So check out this cool pilot program if you wanna support some amazing designs and check out our video here that explains what this Bricklink program is all about. I explain the ins and outs of why it's such a genius program and you'd be amazed to see what these designers can create. It's also a lot of fun to support them. So I'll catch you there.